Hello. In this next step, I will um, show you how to estimate the height of the of the shaft. As you can see, the um, our generator, our little generator here, has got a, a pin. Do you see the pin? I, I believe you can see. The pin is. The pin is here. Here, this is the pin. Well, our generator shaft of the wind of the propeller should have the same height as the pin. And so we take our uh, little device here, gadget, to measure, and we have a look at what height, uh, what height it says. Oh yeah, we should hold this 90 degrees. So we take a, a 90 degrees angle and make that it's more or less, even though it's not straight, it should be straight more or less. So you close one eye as if you were shooting and you make that straight bottom of this because the, the top is, isn't straight, but the bottom is straight. The flashlight, we make that it corresponds. It's vertical. And then we can use our tape measure. Well, this is not a very exact method, but more than enough for what we want to uh, reach, what we want to achieve. I, um, I got it. And it says 28, 28 millimeters roughly, approximately 28. So we will have to make our hole at 28 millimeters of height from the bottom. Which we are going to do. We do only a final checkup, but this is really 90 degrees from everywhere. Seeing the bottom is 90 degrees, perfect. So this is the bottom. The bottom will be here. That's the most important. The bottom and the sides should be 90 degrees. If the top isn't not exactly 90 degrees, that's not. It will, if the bottom, this is the top, if this, the top is 90 degrees uh, com, uh, in, with the, the sides, it isn't of a big deal, but the bottom and the sides should be exactly 90 degrees. And in this case, it is. So we can mark our 28 millimeters. So I write down here, bottom, before I forget, B-O-T-T-O-M, like that, you won't forget that this is the bottom, and then the 28 millimeters, and the center. For this I use a pencil, <coughs> you know why. First we start by marking the center line, don't mark it very hard. Just gently, gentle mark, a soft mark, so that we can sand it away after. And we do this at both sides. Well, it's not necessary with the drill press to, to mark it at both sides. I just do it out of curiosity, curiosity to see if we really ended up exactly at the, other, at the in the middle at the other side. It's just more, uh, it's more of a out of curiosity. So we mark the center line on both sides. These were eight centimeters long, bearing block. I marked a line 
at 4 centimeters. So we know where the bottom is, it is written down. Now from the bottom we will mark 28 millimeters up. And we have to work now very accurately because once you are drilling it is too late. 28 are marked. Now we just turn it like this and mark the 28 on the other side as well. This only out of curiosity as a to see if the drill press did, did it work or to see if it was square. It was square, so it must end up in, at the same end. So we did now mark our place where to drill, where to pile the drill. And then I take my self made prime, which is just a nail and a piece of oak, or sorry, this is beech, beech wood, and I inserted the nail and then removed its head and filed it into a point. Use a harder kind of nail, harder steel kind. Then we mark, punch mark our um, hole, pre mark, so that the drill bit will find easily its place. That's done. And just final check, check up. This really is 28, it is. And then we have to pre drill. So we have to find a, a tiny little bit, a little bit. And in this case, I will use this one, a 3 millimeter one. And I, I will also, at the other end, have to mark as well. So, that's done. And then we have to uh, drill. Which we will do now. This is also already a, I believe this is a, this is also a 3 mm drill bit, bit. Just lower it a little bit. And now we have to um, Put it a little bit higher, as this is not enough, as you can see. So we will uh, adjust our drill press. Now we can we are ready to drill. Make sure there's no dirt laying no sawdust because then it will won't lay flat on the bottom. Now we are ready to drill. Remove the wood. We have to, it's not long enough, I think. 
I have to uh, you have to let it a little bit deeper. Now it will, it will work. Hmm, didn't come true. So what we have to do is to give it once more a try. I don't know why it uh, didn't come true. This our drill is not long enough. But we need a longer drill. Now we have a problem, it stayed in, in the wood. So we have to remove it with a bunch of ice. It 
Well, I will have to ris risk to drill from the other side as my drill isn't long enough. goes well. I already did with the prime. And it seems it found a place. I can see the light going through it. So I will drill it now. pilot hole now which we will drill later we will drill that hole as you can see the light can um, go through it so later we will drill that hole bigger for the shaft but first now we have to find a speed drill of 22 millimeters wide which is the diameter of the bearings skating skate bearings i will have to look for it so i will show that in the next video thanks for watching